Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was gonna sit and put some face makeup on and I decided not to do that. Um, this palette makes me a little bit nervous, so I think I'm just gonna not. And we'll just review the palette and I'll test it out with just bare face and we'll just do that. Um, this is the Little Elfus Scorp, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, it's E-L-F-O-S. And this is the Scorpio palette. There's the name up there. And this is by, it's like a Korean beauty company, I think. I'm going to look it up really quick. I wrote it down and I don't know where I put the paper. This is an eyeshadow palette that I found on Instagram. So that's one of those things where it's an Instagram eyeshadow palette. It was one of those, it popped up in my feed. I was intrigued by it. I'm a Scorpio. So I was like, oh, I need that. King Beauty Shop. Q-I-N-G Beauty Shop. And I'll leave that down below. I don't have to go into my Instagram again. But um, yeah, I found it in my Instagram feed. I was very intrigued by it. So I ordered it. It took a long time for it to come. I've had this for a couple weeks. Um, just didn't have a chance to film it. It says it's cruelty free and it has a 36 month expiration date. This is the outer packaging and those are the ingredients. So let's take a moment. When I saw that, I was like, um, there's that label and that label. And my husband was joking. He's like, what's the Chinese? I don't know if these Japanese symbols, Chinese symbols for lead. <laughs> I'm a little afraid that my eyes are gonna like burn or something weird's gonna happen. I don't know. Here's the symbol. And this is one of those companies that does um, like copies brands and then comes out with affordable products. They copy like eyeshadow palettes and other. They have some pretty ones. They have the Scorpio one. And since I purchased this, they have a Virgo one too. So I think they're trying to do all of the Zodiac signs. But this is what the package looks like. It's like makeup is learning. There's a little Scorpio. This is the name. We'll go closer. Um... Here's the company information on the back, made in China. I'm a little afraid. So we're going to pray. Let's open this up. Again, like I said, I bought this because it looked really pretty. And I'm a Scorpio. Here's the colors. Like the colors to me don't really scream Scorpio, but it's pretty. There's some... Um, some like shimmery shades, some mattes. I'm gonna swatch a few of these. There's 30 shades in here, so I'm not gonna swatch them all. It does kind of have a little bit of a fragrance, but I'm gonna read the names because I don't know why they're calling it a Scorpio palette. Because like I said, the color, like the reds in here, maybe. I mean, Scorpios are a water sign, so I can see maybe like but the names of these, I'm going to read them to you. We're going to go through all 30 of these names. Natasha, Evil Eye, Rose, Cockney, like C-O-C-K-N-E-Y is this one right here. Cockney. Barry, Dida, Dida, D-I-D-A, Dawn, Starter, like Start Ear, um, Purple, World Wolf is this one. Oh God, Earth. Roundel, R O U N D L E. Roundel is this one right here. Orange Sky is this brown one. Wine, which that's not even a wine color, that's a brown. Lemon, which again, that's the lemon shade. Um, wasabi. Mama said. Wukong, W-U-K-O-N-G. Mikey, Sisley, Sisley, S-I-S-L-A-Y is that one right there. Mocha, which is like a gray. Um, Chance, Green Day, which that one is a green one. Um, Bibidil, B-I-B-I-D-E-L. 
is this one right here. Um, Snow Body, Luck Luck, Lobo Say, Lubo, L U O B O Say, Judy, which is this like sparkly black blue color, and then Last Dance. So the names of those confused me a little bit because I don't know, like none of that like really screams Scorpio to me. And so you flip the little sheet over. And so here's again the colors. I'm going to swatch. I'm probably going to do a pink look. So like the satiny ones. Um, and then let's do this. Okay, so those are like, some of them are matte, some of them are satin. That was a horrible swatch. Let me go back into that light one again, because some of that may have been me. Okay, so they're a little bit powdery. There is some pigmentation there. Um, let me go into that glitter that one some of these don't even necessarily feel like glitter and then do the white one I guess so there's those and I don't know what the names of these ones are um, if anybody's interested in me swatching all 30 Leave me a comment down below and I can definitely go back and film another like swatching like a part two to this um what did I do I did that gold one already let me do like that blue from the bottom and then we'll do this gold and this white one from the top So some of them are pretty, and you can see there is some pigmentation. That one's pretty light, but um, they don't seem horrible. We just don't know what's in here, because like I said, these are the, um, the ingredients. So if anybody knows Chinese, pause that and let me know, because like I said, I'm a little bit scared. My husband was making jokes. We need to look up what the Chinese symbol for lead is. Not to say that there's light in here, but, you know, because we can't read it and we don't know. And it's it was made in China and they're they're allowed to put stuff in makeup that we are not. So, I mean, there's always a concern when you when the ingredients are not in your language, what you're actually putting on your eyeball. So I was a little bit like I, said, I was going to do um, foundation and everything before. And I'm a little bit concerned. A little bit that my eyeball my eyeballs my eyeballs are gonna like burn or fall off or something weird's gonna happen okay so this is just the Ulta Beauty primer I've been using this a lot I like it it's comparable to the Urban Decay primer for me um, I use the um, anti-aging one so this side has a primer and this one does not so we'll do both eyes and we'll see I don't even know I've got my color switch here. I'm going to use the same brush that I use um, on both sides. I'm not going to switch it up, but I don't know. There's some pretty colors. Again, let's look at the colors. There's some pretty colors. There's pinks and blues and greens, browns. You can do some colorful looks. There's some sparkly. I'm hoping this is good because it's pretty. Like I said, when I got it, it did take a hot minute to come, and I think that is because it was coming from China. Um, so it took a few weeks to get here and then when it finally showed up, I, they wrapped it really well. It was in a lot of bubble wrap, so I will say that about it. I got some concealer in case I decide to do a delivery. Lid, helping everybody to get mascara on. And I may not even use concealer. We may see how it goes, but I'll get that out just in case. Okay. So we're going to, my mirror's very dirty here. Everything is dusty. I live in Arizona and my house is older and it, everything, there's just dust and dog hair all over everything. You never guess it, but we'll go in here. 
I think I'm going to start with Natasha. Is this, I may not even tell you the names. I'll try and tell you as I go. And then I will try and leave the names if I remember down below. Let me have to turn this off. And then I'll turn it off just because I can't. This color is so sheer. I can't even see. I have a really like it's a fluorescent bulb right above my desk. That color is basically my skin tone. So then I'm going to go in with rose, which is like a pink color that has some pigmentation to it. And rose is this one right here. Let's put that in the crease. So I'm just kind of testing the waters because I'm a little afraid. Because like I said, when you can't read the ingredients and then, like I said, they're allowed to put cos you know, ingredients in cosmetics overseas and sell them. I think that's the problem with buying like counterfeit makeup, you know, with the Kylie Cosmetic, you know, fake lip kits because you don't know what's in them. They're manufactured in China. It actually looks more pigmented to me on the pro on this eye with no primer than this eye am i crazy i'll try and leave that off because the lighting is probably better i don't know i feel like it's a little more pigmented on this side than that side but maybe i'm just crazy then i'm going to go in with cockney which is this next darkest shade and now my phone is dinging my husband is on the road, so he's letting me know that his um, load is finally loaded and he can come home. I We're going to do a pink look. So there's that. And again, this is the primer side. This side doesn't have any primer on it. I'll see if I can use the primer. My eyesight is just so bad. And then it's kind of dark in this corner. I definitely feel like it is blending out a little bit better on the primer side. And there is some pigmentation to this. So like I said, as long as I don't have any weird reactions to it, it does seem like it's blowing out a lot more on that side. But I think I like the primer side better. Um, and then I think I'm going to go in with a little bit. I'm just using my color switch. Berry is this one. I wish the names were printed underneath the shadows because that plastic sheet is already annoying me. I'm already annoyed. This is like a satiny one. Those other ones that I was reusing were mattes. This one I feel like is having trouble. Like, and I'm using the same brush. And I'm sure people are going to be like, well, that's not like testing them very well. But this is how I do eyeshadow in the morning. I use probably the same like two or three brushes and I use different brushes every day but when I'm doing eyeshadow in the morning I'm usually like trying to be quick about it because I have to go to school I go to beauty school and then I have a baby and my husband's gone on the road a lot so this is how I do eyeshadow so if anybody doesn't like it then just don't watch it pretend I'm using different brushes because this is I'm using it how I would be using it in the morning that eyeshadow I'm going to go back in with that matte pink that I used before. That one just doesn't really want to stick on my eyeball. And I'm going to have to turn this light on. I can't see the outer part of my eye. It's just too dark. I'm going to it's pretty good. I mean, I guess it is, and I'm able to build it up. And there is some fallout, and it's like sticking and smearing because I don't have any makeup on, and so it's just clinging to my skin. But... I mean, I guess this is okay. And then I'm just going to go in what color this is. Starter. Maybe on the lid. Maybe we'll use Ditta or Chance. Maybe we'll use Chance. I don't know. I'm going to try. Chance is this white, chunky one. I'm just going to go in with my finger. Maybe we'll use a different color on the other side. I don't know.
doesn't seem like it applied that bad with my finger. So I think those like chunky ones definitely use no primer side that really like clung like it seems so much brighter than this side with the primer that's interesting to me so there's that um and then i'm gonna go in i'm gonna use the lower lash i like these kind of before i was just using i lost it just a fluffy brush and then for the lower lash line I like these like fat ones and I think I'm gonna go in with this purpley color all purple all right the purple that's called purple these don't seem bad it is interesting to me I think I like the side with no primer. And this may be one of those things where um, I do, I got some in my eye and it felt funny. And then purple, I wanted to try the purple. Purples are hard and purple, like I know like the Anastasia Beverly Hills, like people have had reactions to the purples. I figured it doesn't feel good in my eye. Like, it's not burning, but I can definitely tell that there's, like, powder in my eye. Um, there's some purple, and I'm going to go in with the World Wolf. It's the one, the chunky, purpley glitter color with it. The lower lash line, I think, would probably look better if I had, like, foundation and stuff on. And those purples seem like, but I definitely... I think I prefer this side with no primer versus this. And I was saying I have a cover girl, like their eyeshadow base, that's stays slightly tacky. I think that might work better than this like regular primer because you can see it really like grabbed my skin. And even the lid color is so much brighter than the primer side. So it may be one of those. I will try it with the cover girl and I'm gonna go in with Ditta, which is, this, it's just a white color and just put that underneath. I usually do light colors or white under my brow bone. So that's that. And then I guess let's go in. I would do, in, normally I would do in, what is this, a paper blending brush. A darker color in the outer corner, but I don't even know Not a lot. Maybe Last Dance, which is this gray on the bottom in the outer. Definitely feel something in my eye. I don't know. That feels like that's a little like non-existent. I think maybe I'll do a three looks one palette with this at some point, but first impressions, like that color didn't really do much. This color, let me turn this on for the sake of having to open this eye just because I can't see and it's dark. And then I'll turn it off because it's like super hard and I know it affects. Like I feel like that's not doing anything. Let me go in with this blacky blue Judy shade. I'm trying to like deepen up the outer corner and it's not like that has some pigmentation to it. That doesn't look very good with the pink, but I was just trying to see if I could get some like something i mean those browns did have some pigment or gray but that color is definitely pigmented so it does have some pigmentation it's interesting to me um it does blend out better on the primer side but it definitely like i don't know i can see a difference so I think maybe a stickier eyeshadow primer, something that stays a little tacky that's going to grab would probably be better. First impressions, um, like when I got it in my eye, I did feel it, but I don't feel any like burning. There's not anything weird happening so far. There's my eyes. 
with that. So yeah, like I said, this is pretty. I think maybe I'll try and do a three looks one palette because there is a lot of color and I think I could do some pretty looks, hopefully. There is some pigmentation. I was able to get it to do something. Like I said, I just think with this side, I don't like that primer with it. And that's why I have several eyeshadow primers because it's not necessarily one primer for all. It depends on the formula. And um, yeah, so that's that. Let me know what you guys thought of this. It is pretty and we'll show it one more time. Here's the outer packaging. So this is the Scorpio palette. It's $25. I think I got a little bit of a discount. So even with shipping, I think it was still only like 24. But it is pretty. So I'm hoping I can make this work. So I'm interested. But yeah, let me know if you want me to do a three look to one palette. Because I think this would be a good palette for that. Because there's so much different color, versatility going on in here. If we can make it work. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought. This was my general first impression. I'm still on the fence about it. Back in here. But... Yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of this. Is this something you would try? Again, I found this on Instagram. You're always taking a gamble with that stuff. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button. Let me know, become part of the family. Let me know what you guys thought of this. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Pray that my eyes don't swell up. Um, and yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.